In this video, I'm going to show you how to derive the energy time uncertainty relation from quantum mechanics. Now you may think, why is that necessary? Because in the past I've already done a video on the generalized Heisenberg uncertainty principle, but that was dependent on there being an operator for both quantities that you're considering. And while there is one for energy, there isn't one for time, so things are more complicated. Now, the derivation does involve the generalized Heisenberg uncertainty principle, but not via referencing a time operator. The main difficulty resides in sorting out exactly what you mean by time uncertainty in mathematical detail. In this video, I show you all those nuances. So let's get going. Under normal circumstances, when we say uncertainty in quantum mechanics, we mean the standard deviation. This can be calculated for a given quantum state and observable from the quantum state's wave function and the observable's operator. This is done with this formula here, where the brackets mean expectation values. When considering the energy time uncertainty principle, the situation is a little more complicated than this. While there is an energy operator, the Hamiltonian, that can be used to evaluate the above formula, there is no such thing as a time operator. When making a measurement of some observable, the naturally relevant concept of time uncertainty is the time it takes for the average the expectation value of a given observable to change by one standard deviation, given that the standard deviation is the uncertainty for that observable. So we can make the following definition, where delta t, the uncertainty in the time, is just the standard deviation in the observable you're considering, divided by the absolute value, so just the magnitude of the rate of change of the average of that observable. So how long does it take the average to change by one standard deviation, which is what I just said. If we then take the definition of the energy uncertainty to be the usual one, so the standard deviation with the Hamiltonian in the formula, we can actually use the generalized Heisenberg uncertainty relation to construct an energy time uncertainty relation. The generalized Heisenberg uncertainty relation is this. Now, in order to actually use this to get an uncertainty relation for energy and time, we need the assistance of the generalized Ehrenfest theorem, which is this. The energy time uncertainty principle is usually considered for cases where the operator Q is not explicitly dependent on time. So the Ehrenfest theorem reduces to this. And this allows us to make a useful substitution for this expectation value of a commutator. It allows us to replace it with this quantity here, which gets us down to this ultimately. And we see that uncertainty in the time that we defined earlier. And we already set uncertainty in the energy equal to the usual standard deviation. So substituting those in, we've got this, which is the energy time uncertainty relation. That's how it comes about. That's the full story. It's not terribly long, but it is rather fascinating and definitely illuminating. You have seen now the nuances of defining what's meant by time uncertainty in quantum mechanics, despite there not being a time operator, given that that concept makes no sense. Now you can construct a unitary time evolution operator, but that's not an operator whose eigenvalue is a time value, and you can't have a time eigenstate or something like that. So in the sense that's relevant for this problem, you can't have a time operator. And you saw how to use that new concept of time uncertainty with the ordinary generalized Heisenberg uncertainty relation to yield the energy time uncertainty relation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Dietrich out.